Welcome back everyone, you might be in a weird situation where for some reason your Roku remote is not working. Now there's a couple different ways to fix it. The very first way I would recommend though is to take the remote and take out the batteries if you're able to do it. If you're able to remove the back and take out the batteries within it, I would highly recommend doing that. And then from there putting the batteries back in and seeing if the remote is able to power on the Roku. If it is, then you're set, the remote is pretty much fixed. However, if it's not, then it might be a battery problem. I would kind of recommend to check, you know, buy some new batteries or get some new batteries around. Maybe transfer them from an existing remote that might work. Put it into this Roku remote and try again and see if it fixes. Most of the time, the Roku remote just has bad batteries or the batteries are dead. And most of the time, if you just go ahead and do that, that'll probably end up fixing the remote itself. Now, if the batteries seem fine and the remote still isn't working, I would recommend going to the Roku and totally unplugging it. This will probably fix a majority of the issues as well. Whenever there's an issue I've read online, I really don't use Rokus that often, but I read online and that seems to be one of the more prominent fixes is to totally unplug the Roku, let it go ahead and sit down there for a couple minutes or up to 30 seconds or something, and then plugging it back in and seeing if the remote fixed that way. If it did, then again, you're set. If it didn't, then you'll probably have to go ahead and, you know, download a specific app on your iPhone or on your Android device. Now, luckily, there is a remote app for both Android and iOS, which is really cool. So if you have either of these devices, you can easily go and just install this app and move on with your life, which is a huge highlight. So what you can do in this case is go to the App Store, go to the Google Play Store and look up Roku Official Remote. And from there, there will eventually be some type of official remote app that you'll be able to see. And all you have to do is download it onto your device. And then at that point, all you have to do is go ahead and open it up, connect it to your Roku. Again, you have to have Wi-Fi enabled. You have to have Wi-Fi across your network and wherever you're going to go and do this at. So make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi that your Roku is connected to. And then from there, you can go ahead and use the remote on your app, on your phone as the basically the remote for your thing, which is really cool. So you can do exactly the same things as you could have done before, but obviously it's just on your screen. And this is a great replacement just in case you broke your Roku remote and you can't seem to fix it, or just in case a billion other reasons, this will actually make it so you can, you know, still use your Roku remote without actually, you know, using your Roku remote. So most of the time, if you have to go ahead and get another remote, I would recommend getting them on eBay or whatever, and then going from there, that seems to be the best bet. But again, if you want a free alternative, the Roku remote app is probably the best way to go. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.